Hello everyone, welcome to Jiggy Maths. My name is Sir Jiggs. So after we discuss Pascal's triangle and binomial theorem, you might be wondering how can we get the term or the coefficient without expanding the binomial. So that's what I'm going to teach you now is how to find that specific term, that particular coefficient in the binomial expansion without fully expanding, okay? Let us differentiate the term and coefficient. What is a term and what is a coefficient? Now let's take this as an example. A term is the numerical coefficient and literal coefficient. Literal coefficient is like the variable plus the index. And the numerical coefficient is just simply the number. So for example, the x cubed term is negative 9 x cubed. So this is our x cubed term, okay? That is different from the third term. This is the term with the x cubed. So the x cubed term is negative 9 x cubed, okay? Now the x to the power of 6 term is x to the power of 6, okay? In which the numerical coefficient is 1. Now what about coefficient? Coefficient is just the numerical coefficient, only the numerical coefficient. So for example, the coefficient of x cubed is negative 9. Okay, be mindful of the sign. So if there's a minus there, so it is included in the coefficient. So the coefficient of x cubed term is negative 9. Now the coefficient of x to the power of 6 is 1. Okay, all right, now what about this one? The x to the power of 0, okay, of course we don't write that when writing the product or the uh, series. So the x to the power of 0 term, or what we call constant term, is 27, okay? Because x to the power of 0 is just 1, so we don't write it anymore. So constant term is 27. The coefficient, the constant term is 27. Or sometimes we just simply say constant term is 27. That is the one without the literal coefficient. All right, now another thing uh, for us to look at here is if you notice the powers of x, x to the power of 6, x cubed, x to the power of 0, then x to the power of negative 3. So you see the powers are descending, so that is decreasing. So from the highest power 6 down to negative 3. So the terms are arranged in descending powers of x. All right. Now before I forget, just uh, just to clarify also, if you look at the term, we have the power is 3 and then the number of terms is 4. Okay. So the first term is x to the power of 6. The second term is negative 9x cubed. Third term is 27. And the fourth term is negative 27x to the power of negative 3. The terms are separated by the plus or the minus sign. So we have here another plus here, and then there's a minus. So we have uh, a total of four terms. Okay, so that is the term and coefficient. So please make sure that we are clear about this first before we proceed to the next. Okay, now this is uh, going to be very helpful, okay? Combination of n tick and r, a uh, to the power of n minus r, and b to the power of r. So this is a term in the binomial expansion. It's like a formula in finding the term in the binomial expansion. So a here, as you recall from the past video, a is the first term of the binomial, and then b is the second term of the binomial. And the combination of n tick and r is our coefficient. Alright? That's the one that we that, that's the one that is the same as the coefficient in the Pascal's triangle. So for this, it is very important for us to know the value of n and the value of r. Alright, let's go to the example. Example 1, in the expansion of 5 minus x to the power of 9. So A, find the x to the power of 4 term, x to the 4th term. Letter B, find the coefficient of x to the 5th term. 
find the coefficient of x to the fifth term. All right, let's uh, do letter A first. So that is what be, what is being asked. The x to the power of four terms. So again, term consists of the numerical coefficient and the literal coefficient. So, okay, now let's let's um, list down the information that we can use to find the x to the power of four terms. So we need n, which is the power, which is nine. R is equal to four because of the x to the power of 4. a is equal to 5, that is the first term, which is 5, and b, which is the second term, that is negative x. Okay, now again, a here is the first term, b here is the second term in the binomial. All right, so now let's use the formula, combination of n taken r, that will be combination of 9 taken 4, and then 5 to the power of n minus r, that is 9 minus 4, and then b, which is the second term, negative x to the power of 4, okay? Now, uh, going back to r is equal to 4. So since if you look at this binomial, for us to get x to the power of 4, then this must be x to the power of 4, right? So that's why uh, our value of r is equal to 4. Okay, so just simply uh, evaluate that and then... Um, get the product of the coefficients so therefore this is our x to the power of uh, 4 term 39 uh, 393,750 x to the power of 4 so with the numerical and the literal coefficient all right otherwise your answer would be wrong letter b find the coefficient of x to the power of 5 so this is just what um the coefficient, the numerical coefficient, just the number without the variable and the index. Okay, so again, let's uh, look, uh, let's have this information, n equals 5, r is equal to 5, a is equal to 5, and b is equal to negative x. So r is equal to 5, since we want x to the power of 5, so if we expand this, imagine that you're expanding this. So your x, your negative x here, must be raised to the power of 5, right? So if that is the case, that means the second term must be raised to the power of 5. Okay, so follow the formula here. So b, which is negative x, must be raised to the power of 5. Therefore, it follows that n minus r here will be 9 minus 5. Okay, so this is what we're going to have. Okay, so just um, evaluate the combination. 5 to the power of uh, 4 is 625, and negative x to the power of 5 is negative x to the power of 5. So we get the product, negative 78,750x to the power of 5. So again, go back to the question. We just need the coefficient. So therefore, therefore the coefficient is negative 78,750. So make sure that you write this as a conclusion. All right? Or write this simply without the x to the power of 5. Otherwise, again, your answer would be wrong. If you only have one x in your binomial, it's going to be a bit uh, easy. All right? But what if we have two x's in the binomial? So the first term contains an x, and then the second term also contains an x. Um, be mindful of this, especially if your x is also in the denominator. All right? So what is being asked in this problem? Find the coefficient of x, coefficient of x, so x to the first power. So we cannot just simply uh, raise the first term to 1 to get an x. Why? Because we have also x in the second term. Okay, now let's list down the information. So n is definitely equal to 7. All right? And then a is equal to x, which is the first term. First term is x. Your b, which is the second term, is negative 3 over x. Now again, you can definitely write negative 3 over x as negative 3x to the power of negative 1. It's easier to look at if we change negative 3 over x with a negative exponent. All right, so again, the index of x must be 1. We are not sure of the value of r. 
Okay, now let's use the formula. The index of x must be 1. So please uh, take, note of that, take note of that. So we have 7, combination of 7 taken r because we don't know r yet. And then the first term x raised to the power of 7 minus r. And then b, negative 3x to the power of negative 1 raised to the power of r. Okay, now let's use our knowledge of the loss of indices to simplify this further. Okay, so we have x to the power of 7 minus r here, and then r to be distributed inside uh, each factor, negative 3 to the power of r, and then x to the power of negative 1 times r, which would be negative r. This one can be also rewritten in this manner. All right, just to emphasize that the x to the power 7 minus r can be can be multiplied to x to the power of negative r, okay? So uh, let's have it here. All right, so take note that x must be to the power of 1, okay? So if you look at this, this, this one is our coefficient, and then this one will be... Uh, our literal coefficient in which the index of x must be 1. So the index of x must be 1. So let's use that information, that condition, for us to find the value of r. Okay, so let's combine. Um, we know from the product rule that the indices can be added. So 7 minus r plus negative r equals 1. And then it will give us 7 minus 2r equals 1. And from there, we can now get the value of r. So r is equal to 3. So now we know the r, then we can now find the coefficient of x by simply putting this r equals 3, plugging that in, in our coefficient. So we will get now combination of 7 taken 3, multiplied to negative 3 to the power of 3. All right, And we will have coefficient is negative 945. Okay, let's go to example number three. Write down in ascending powers of x the first four terms in the expansion of 1 minus 3x to the power of 10, and then later on we will answer letter B. Okay, let's start first with letter A. In ascending powers of x, that's what is being required, the first four terms in the expansion of 1 minus 3x to the power of 10. Now take note here that negative 3x or x is in the second term. So remember the second term, the powers are ascending. Okay, starting from zero uh, up to up to the up to the value of uh, n, which is 10. Okay, but what we need only is the first four terms. Okay, so let's use the uh, way to do it vertically. So we only need first four terms, so therefore we stop at a combination of 10 taken 3. The first term is 1, but 1 raised to any number is just simply 1. So that means uh, it's okay for us not to write it. Okay, we can go straight now to the second term. So negative 3x, we start with negative 3x to the power of 0. That's it. Then we stop at negative 3x cubed. Okay, then simplify that. So we will get... Uh, for the first one is just simply 1, then second term is neg uh, 10 multiplied to negative 3x, giving us negative 30x. Then the third term, uh, combination of 10 taken to is 45, negative 3x squared is 9x squared, giving us 405x squared. And the fourth term, and that will give us negative 3,240x cubed. Again, be mindful of this, negative 3x to the power of 3. If a negative number is, multiply, uh, is raised to an odd exponent, that will result to a negative uh, answer. If the negative number raised to an even exponent, then that will give you a positive result. All right. So the first four terms are 1 minus 30x plus 405x squared, minus 3240x cubed and notice that the powers are ascending from x to the power of 0 up to x cubed okay so we are correct now let's proceed to letter b 
Find the coefficient of x cubed in the expansions of 1 plus 5x multiplied to 1 minus 3x to the power of 10. So this is what we obtain from letter A, all right, which is what the first four terms. So which means we can do that by multiplying what we got from A to 1 plus 5x. So 1 plus 5x multiplied to the first four terms from letter A. Now, what we need only is the coefficient of x cubed. The coefficient of x cubed. Now, looking at this, 1 plus 5x should be distributed to all of the four terms. But do we need to distribute all of them? Or do we need to get all of those terms? No. Okay, what we need only is x cubed. Okay, so imagine we are distributing 1 to all of the four terms. But we only need the one that will give us the term with an x cube, okay, or the x cube term, and that will be therefore 1 multiplied to negative uh, 3240 x cube, right? Because 1 multiplied to 405 x squared will not give us an x cube, correct? Okay, um, imagine if we're going to expand this further up to x to the power of 10, it will be useless, right? Because 1 multiplied to all of those. Uh, succeeding terms won't actually give us the coefficient of x cubed or, uh, or an x cubed term. Now, uh, we don't stop here because there's also a 5x, okay, which needs to be distributed inside. So, imagine 5x multiplied to 1 won't give us an x cubed. 5x multiplied to negative 30x will give us an x squared and not an x cubed. And then 5x multiplied to this will give us an x cubed, right? So let's uh, write it down. So this now will be plus 5x multiplied to 405x squared. And if you proceed, 5x multiplied to uh, negative 3240x cubed will give us x to the power of 4 instead and not x cubed. Okay, so that means we have already completed the process. All you need to do is simplify this, and that will give us this one. Again, go back to the question. What we need only is the coefficient. So negative 3,240 plus 2,025, that will give you the coefficient, which is negative 1,215. So make sure that you write this conclusion. All right, so... That is the term and the coefficient in the binomial expansion. Now, our next topic will be in the next lesson video is how to find the constant term. Well, it's actually the same method, but here we are particularly uh, looking for the constant term because in most of the questions uh, that I've seen in the past papers, they usually ask the constant term. All right. Okay, once again, thank you very much to Slides Carnival for the PowerPoint template uh, that I used for this lesson video. And once again, thank you very much. Okay, if you do have questions, if you want me to answer some of the questions that you are so confused with, please, please uh, send me a message or you can uh, email me at jdtoday2014 